Okay, hey there guys. So today's video is going to be nice and short. Well, fairly short. It's only going to be four fights, and as you can see by the time, I'm going to get over with it pretty quickly here. Going up against Nefty, which is a mostly Italian alliance, who was not made by, but like the current iteration of it, is a lot of ex-GT40 members from back when we had Italians in there, and one of the ex-officers from GT40. So they are not an alliance to be messed around while playing, and we messed around while playing with them. This war is still ongoing. Still very winnable, but oh boy, did we mess around. And I hope we don't find out. So, my officer agreed, my officers agreed that I can forego suicides for this war because it was going to be on and then off and then on and then off. And it's a lot. And these fights, I didn't feel like I really needed them because for this fight, I'm going to be getting these Furies here for Mole Man. And as you can see, that SP2 does quite a bit. I want to bait out this SP2 here from Spider Gwen just in case. I don't want to die to Anonymous. Um, not like that, not like that. So I want one more Fury there before I throw this SP2, and I'll get it. And the crit here is going to go pretty big at the end, 40k. If I'd been in Frenzy, she evades. So my plan there is I just have to... I want to get the Furies, or I want to get debuffs on me to get Furies, but I need to trigger my Unstoppable a lot so I don't lose my true accuracy because everyone knows how much Gwen evades. It's so, pan it's so painful. So Mephisto, first time I'm actually taking a Mephisto, which is kind of shocking. There have been a couple Mephistos I feel like I kind of wanted to take, but they were always on like weird nodes. Because obviously like Mephisto is one of those other matchups, kind of like Torch, where it's like Void was kind of made his name by fighting Mephistos, Incinerate Immune and the Petrifies and everything like that. So this is going to be a pretty fun matchup here. I get very good RNG and I get double Petrify up really fast. Three debuffs in and I get two Petrifies. So I'm already reversing the healing with the spare, and then his power gain is going to be non-existent. He's not a global champion, so I don't gain the withers here. And the only concern here is ability accuracy reduction from insult to injury. I just don't want to make sure... I want to make sure I don't get hit from that. This is the only fight I need void for, so I'm okay if I lose a bit of HP. I don't think I would die in a single combo, considering I have just a bit less PI than this guy. But, again, not how I want that to go, so I just need to play, make sure I'm playing it very, very slow, very safe here. And going to finish off the fight right here with another SP1. And nice and easy void fight. Very, very quick fight. So that went about as well as it could have to plan. I just had to make sure I paid attention to my parry stickings. That's why on a couple of them I was a little bit slow. So going to head down path four. Shocker. But this time for a new champion, Joe Fixit. This was the fight I wasn't sure if I would need suicides for because it fortunately is only a rank one Joe. But Joe is a Hulk, so Joe has a lot of HP. I was also somehow able to get all three of these fights done on a single power start one by somehow I mean not switching on suicides right if I do that I lose it but I instantly take a three hit combo um, really embarrassing on that one with those three hits miss another parry it's just not going right so I'm like Ugh, shoot just throw it I should have honestly done another heavy there I get off this SB2 here it does a fair bit of damage not the most damage it can do and I need to try to keep my monster mass up here because I'm going to need to be able to counter his unblockable. I knew that was going to come. But again, with Frenzy and the big boosts I have going, the weakness and inequity here is going to hurt. But I know I can counter his unblockable, so I'm like, I just got to push him up to SP2 here. Just need to dex that. As long as I dex the SP2, I was going to be A-OK. -okay. But fortunately, because of the way that works, I actually ended up getting back monster mass. So I would have been able to block an SP1 or SP2 there because of me leaving Frenzy and him applying debuffs. So... All's well that ends well. And I'm going to fight another one of Anonymous' champions. So, fighting, he's a, this is his alt account. His main's in GT40, so know him pretty well. So, fighting three out of the four being his was pretty funny. Just a nice little bit of irony, you know what I mean? So, going in for another Quake fight here. Unlike Last Word, this one's actually a pretty messy Quake fight, if I'm being honest. I was pretty comfortable going into it, but I just made a bunch of little mistakes. And little mistakes are what cost you, especially in wars like this. So, yeah, I'll just talk about the mistakes when we get to them, but Quake Fight Go is Quake Fight Goes, right? That's kind of what I always say, but it's true. The start, I'm like, okay, this is going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Down a little bit of health from those bleeds, but it's nothing too serious. And right here is it? Nope. I do my little double dash back there. That's what I was talking about in one of the past videos. I'm staying pretty on top of this. I'm already at, she's already at 50%, and I'm about a minute in. This is going to be another slower Quake fight. Right there, I drop the heavy. That is not a mistake I've made too much this season of dropping a heavy. 
It would force me because of concussions, MD doesn't trigger, but right there, I get clipped somehow. I just, I don't know why I got clipped there, honestly. A little bit slow on the quake, I guess, but triggers placebo, triggers the nullify, so it triggers MD, half a bar of power now, so I'm like, okay. And she hits another two, and she triggers one placebo, and nullifies the placebo and dexterity, or just the placebo. So she's at just under a bar of power right now. I actually, so I, right here, I'm going to drop the heavy to finish it off. It's really funny. I switched in some masteries. I wanted, um, I needed to move a point around before I started fighting. And I ended up putting one point in. I had one extra point, so I put it into Petrify, which is the minus 10% power rate while they're stunned. And she ended just under a bar of power. So without Petrify on, because I dropped a heavy while she was stunned, she would have actually been over a bar of power there. So that's why that mastery is broken. So this is what I mean by we messed around, and we'll see what happens. Um, they're at a third of the way through, and they're already at four deaths, so hopefully we can get they get a couple more deaths here. We have a solid shot at winning on time if they if we tie 6-6 six, six or something, and hopefully we stop dying. We just had a really unlucky go of it. There was a bunch of weird things happening very early on in the war, like very, very early on, like first 12 hours early type thing. So that's how it is sometimes. Hopefully we're able to claw back and get the win and we can stay in the fight against GT40 here. And yeah, we'll see what happens. But either way, it's been a very good war. It's So far, it's been a very fun war getting to see all these people. And they're not playing too bad or anything. They're having a solid season and they're a solid alliance. So it's how it is. We're both playing a little bit funky today, but that happens. So either way, GG to them and I'll post the score tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.